Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, sites of Western Armenia, Igdir Salt Caves. New programs will be implemented in the communities of Artsakh. Environmentalist lawsuit on a closure of 37 thermal power plants in occupied Western Armenia. The village of Kharamort in Artsakh returns to normal life. The United States had sent a military aid to the Kurdish fighters of Syria fighting with the Turks. Lake Crimea has decreased by 30% compared to last year. They changed their face to Jerusalem, an American website about Armenian portermen burning west in Armenia. A presentation of a book by a Greek historian on the genocide of Armenians took place in Athens. The Salt Therapy Center, located in the caves of Igdir region of Western Armenia, has opened its doors to visitors. Work is underway to attract more guests. The caves are located on a salt mountain. The resources meet the salt needs of the eastern part of the country. It is planned to include caves in health tourism. From now on, it can be reached by our express train. The Salt Therapy Center is located about 40 meters above the ground. Azatoui Simonian and Lucine Karakhanian, the advisors of the president of Artsakh, who are in Paris on a working visit, continue productive meetings. Yesterday we met with the leadership of the French-Armenian charity organization, SPFA, Solidarity Between Armenia and the French Protestant Church, with which our corporation is in full swing. They have been working in Artsakh for many years. One of the programs is to buy apartments in the villages of Artsakh, repair them and give them to large families. The program has already been successfully implemented. The organization express its readiness to implement agriculture charity programs, create workplaces and support the education system, the advisor of the president of Artsakh wrote on her Facebook page. A lawsuit initiated by environmental activists against the president of the country has begun to close 37 coal-fired power plants in Turkey, occupied Western Armenia. Lawyer Ismail Khat Atal, who made a statement before the hearing, said, We have sued for the shutdown of 37 thermal power plants as mines cause diseases as well as social costs. The hearing or the claim has begun in the 11th Administrative Court of Ankara. The government of Western Armenia welcomes this step and will close the monitor to further developments. Displaced women and children are gradually returning to the village, says Hamlet Apresyan, head of the Askeran region. This village of Artsakh has been under the gun of the Azerbaijanis for about a month. The residents of Khadamort were particularly alarmed by the fact that Azerbaijan side brought military equipment to their positions. A week ago, as a result of the explosion of an Azerbaijani mine in the country out of his house, a civilian was injured. Women and children had to leave the village. The headmaster of the Khadamort school hopes that for Monday it will be possible to resume class at school. There are 66 students studying here and there are 18 children in a preschool group. The U.S. military has sent military aid to the Kurdish People's Defense Forces in Syria. This was reported by the pre-government Turkish media, calling the U.S. action support for terrorism. According to Turkish media, the volume of military aid amounted to about 150 trucks. Attention was down to the fact that the U.S. supplies decreased after Iran fired at a U.S. consulate in Erbil. In recent years, the Turkish armed forces have conducted several large-scale military operations against Kurdish forces in Syria, as a result of which part Part of northern Syria was actually under the occupation of Turkish troops. Lake Kurmia in northwestern Iran has reported a shrunk by about 30% in one year due to the draw. The area of the lake, which used to be 3,575 square kilometers, has reached 2,324 square kilometers. Compared to the same period last year, the water level in the lake decreased by 63 centimeters. Urmia, known as the second largest salt lake in the world, is located near the border with western Armenia, 147 kilometers from Lake Van. The administration of Tehran in Initiated the world's largest environmental project, including the water consumption from the Arax River, the purpose of which was to restore the water level in the lake. In the article Armenian Potterman Who Changed the Face of Jerusalem, the media line spoke about the hard painted art of Karakashian family. Hakob Karakashian is one of the descendants of Armenia who immigrated from the city of Kutahia in western Armenia, who managed to escape the genocide of 1915. Hakob is a representative of one of the three founding families of Potter in Jerusalem. Three artists start working together to produce Armenian ceramics in Jerusalem.
The presentation of the book Nation and National Minorities, a study of the genocide against Armenians by Greek historian Alexandros Pilades, with the participation of the ambassador of the Republic of Armenia to Greece, Tigran Makarchan, took place at a publishing house by Chulas in Athens. The ambassador stressed the idea expressed by the young scientist that international recognition of the genocide is important not only for the restoration of historical justice, but also for the protection of human rights and the maturity of society. The book examines the painful pages of the history of Armenian people and the events preceding the genocide. Here, however, it should be remembered that Armenian people in Western Armenia were recognized by the UN as an indigenous nation. It should be also taken into account by Greek experts. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.